One in six adults suffer from anxiety and with everything that's going on, the number of anxiety cases are on the rise. I want to share with you nine tips and techniques to reduce anxiety and focus on what really matters. Number one, set aside designated time for worrying. And you know that anxiety is triggered by over worrying about things. I know this is easier said than done, but what you can do is step number one, focus on the place that you want to sit and reflect about some of these thoughts that you're having, identify those thoughts, and if you catch yourself off guard thinking about these negative thoughts, make sure that you replace those with positive thoughts to divert your mind from what is worrying you. Uh, number two, uh, one of the things I think that is happening that is sort of fueling worry is uh, our online addiction. So limit your Facebook and your LinkedIn and your Instagram to a very, very minimal. So it does not give you that sense of anxiety. Uh, we are all guilty of it. We wake up and first thing in the morning, we look at our phone and guess what? The world is floating with negative news. And this only adds to our worry and our anxiety. Number three, be mindful. Um, one of the things that I do is to um, use breathing techniques and to, um, uh, you know, uh, repeat my affirmation, positive affirmation statement and to um, get in touch with the now and the present and to not worry about what happened yesterday and what could potentially happen tomorrow for mindfulness is about focusing on positive thoughts and focusing on the now. And like I said, um, write down your affirmation statement and repeat it every time you see yourself uh, thinking negative thoughts. Uh, number four, accept the worry. We all have worries. And again, what is going on around us in the world right now only makes things worse. So accept the worry and then move on so you don't get hooked into that cycle of continuous worrying. Uh, number five, one of the things that I work with my, uh, uh, with my clients and the people that I coach and I counsel is uh, keep a, a journal. It means that write them down and keep doing that to put things into perspective. And also when you review them, it gives you an indication of, uh, about the types and the nature of the things that you worried about. Because sometimes when you're in your head, you get too bogged down by them and they could really trigger anxiety, in some cases, depression. Um, number six, we are healthier than we think. So cut yourself some slack and don't be so hard on yourself and say it is okay to worry, but don't make that the center of what you do every day by practicing the previous five steps that I mentioned. Uh, another way you can do that is by keeping your hands busy. So if you find yourself distracted, or sorry, if you find yourself uh, uh, focusing on an idea that's worrying you and it's causing you uh, some anxiety, uh, distracted by doing something with your hands, um, uh, could be anything, could be uh, uh, writing down something, could be doodling, or could be just getting up and taking a walk, or just changing that environment and keeping busy. Uh, it could be making a cup of coffee, it could be just walking around and breathing a little bit just to um, divert your uh, thoughts from those negative uh, uh, worries that you get and, and then it could eventually trigger more anxiety. Number eight, uh, make time for meditation. Now, meditation is not just about relaxing. Meditation is to constantly allow yourself to be in the here and now, practicing breathing techniques, listening to meditating music. There's a lot of applications out there that you can download from Google Store or Apple Play and, or Apple uh, Store where you can uh, listen to guided meditation if you don't want to um, you know, go to meditation classes, you can self-meditate. And in um, and, and, and practicing things like yoga and breathing techniques, like I said, plenty of apps out there to help you um, focus and relax and meditate. And finally, keep your heart pumping. Exercise is the best form of releasing any stress and any anxiety. So exercise at least 20 minutes a day. And if you are a hardcore gym goer, make sure that you release all of that negative energy in the gym. Until next time, I wish you healthy, happy lives. Good luck.